Guys, holy crap. I just got back from a drone road trip that melted my mind. And I captured one of my favorite drone shots of all time. This shot looks quite simple, but there's actually some clever little tricks I got going on here. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna share these tips and tricks so you can try them with your drone footage. All right, let's start this thrilling new episode of Yeah, baby. So our adventure started right here in a little town called Ojai, an amazing little artist town in the mountains just north of Los Angeles. And it's one of my favorite places on earth. And we're sliding our way up here to the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. We're driving to the event along Interstate 395, crossing the stunning Sierra Nevada mountain range when we saw this estate. I pulled over and knocked on the door to graciously offer my real estate videography services at a slight discount, but no one answered the boarded up doors. Yeah, it was very windy, as you can see here by my Mini 3 bouncing all around. You'll notice some shaky footage in spots during this tutorial, but I did my best. Before we show you my favorite clip and my little editing tricks, I'll share with you all my drone settings. 4K, 24 frames a second. I shot in the standard picture profile in 8-bit. So why not cine-like in 10-bit? Because I'm an idiot and I forgot. I shot in auto exposure because I'm not an idiot. I used an ND64 filter. It was a bright midday shoot and I knew I was gonna be flying very close to the house. I put it in cine mode so I could get slow, smooth drone movement. Now, with the settings out of the way, let's show you my editing tips. We'll start with the unedited version, then contrast it with my final version. The shot is just a very simple orbit, maintaining the same distance to the house, which is our subject. I did so by slightly pushing both joysticks inward. This creates a consistent orbit around the subject. You could certainly use quick shots to get an even steadier shot, which I recommend actually. Now, let's show you my edited version, then we'll dive into how I did it so you can try it with your drone shots. All right, let's show you the edits I did. We'll start with the color grid, then I'll show you my cool cropping trick. First, I desaturated about 90%. It's not fully black and white, there's just a hint of color. Then I added warmth and bumped the gamma. I love this look. It's my go-to color grade for dramatic clips. You know, I'm considering making a LUT so you guys can have this look with just the click of a button. So stay tuned for that. Now this cropping trick is done for a very specific reason, to slowly reveal the setting of the subject as the drone path progresses. Here's the start of the clip uncropped. You can see the house, the mountains, the clouds, the beautiful manicured yard, but I want to remove all that so the viewer only sees the details of the house, as much of that decay as possible to really emphasize that it's an abandoned house. Now, let's go to the end of the clip and I'll zoom back out so there's no crop. Now the viewer sees the entire setting. So as I scrub back and forth here, you can see how smoothly it zooms in and out when you do it in editing. Yes, you could fly this path with your drone, but my experience is I get a much smoother, more precise result when I do this in editing versus flying that path on location while busy not crashing and monitoring all your settings and so on. This edit specifically helps tell the story of the clip. So you can try this with videos that you've already recorded. It's a gentle basic zoom out 
but it's specifically designed to reveal parts of the scene that help tell the story. This doesn't work with every clip, but keep this in your little bag of editing tricks to really enhance your final footage. Oh man, I love that. So please, if you try this, tag me. I'd love to check it out. I really love to see you try this tip. Okay, now let's show you the opposite reveal that I did so you can try this as well. So this clip starts with only the setting in the screen. And as the drone backs up, it slowly reveals the subject, which is my client's glorious estate. I really love that slow reveal. It's part of the storytelling. No tricks, just strong cinematography. The key to doing this type of shot is really identifying what is your subject, then determining a backwards flight path that best reveals the best side of the subject against the best side of the background. I chose this side of the house and those mountains behind it. I really liked the shapes of it overall. I <laughs> love it. Now, check this out. You guys are gonna love this. You've heard of the dolly zoom or the vertigo effect. Let's do it right now. It'll take about five seconds. Beginning of the clip, uncropped. I'm just gonna add a keyframe, no zoom. Then go to the end of the clip and I'm gonna zoom in. Done. <laughs> now let's add a creepy, playful song. Let's play it. Ah, cool, right? Give it a try. So basically, the cropping movement is the opposite of the drone movement. Well, my flying filmmaker friends, if you want to continue your drone cinematography development, I created this episode right here to demonstrate how a drone can really be used in some very creative ways. It's a really fun episode, actually, so check that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.